everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to make this super fluffy French toast, so let's get started with the video. Begin by cutting a few thick slices of brioche bread. Then, cut the crust off your slices of brioche bread. When you're finished, set your slices of bread to the side. Next, in a bowl, add 2 tablespoons of melted butter. Then add 2 eggs. Whisk the butter and eggs together until smooth. Then add 2 thirds cup of heavy cream. Mix the heavy cream in and then add 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a bit of nutmeg, and cinnamon. Whisk everything together until well combined. When you're finished making your custard, set it to the side. Next, place a piece of brioche bread into a baking dish. Then pour some of your custard on top of the slice of bread. Make sure your slice of brioche bread is completely soaked in the custard. Then add another piece of bread on top. Add more custard and then make sure the second slice of bread is completely soaked as well. Then just repeat this process with the rest of your bread. When you're finished, cover and place your bread in the fridge for 1-2 to two hours or overnight. Once your bread is chilled in the fridge, you can begin cooking them. In a large pan over low or medium low heat, add butter. Once your butter has melted, place your french toast in the pan. Cook your french toast on each side, including the edges, until golden brown. And when I say each side, I mean the edges as well.
Then add sugar to your French toast and flip to cook. This will create a really nice crust. Do the same to the other side of your French toast. Look how fluffy it is! Once your French toast has finished cooking, take it out of the pan and repeat this process with the rest of your bread. Once you're finished cooking all of your French toast, you can go ahead and plate everything up. And this is the finished result! The French toast was delicious and do not worry, it is not soggy at all. It was super fluffy and tasted great. And it looks amazing. I saw someone use this method to make French toast on TikTok, I'll have the link down in the description. And after seeing it, I really wanted to try it for myself. And I'm glad I did because this came out great. Oh, and listen to this. crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful berry stuffed French toast. Begin by cleaning strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. I like to clean my fruit by placing them in a bowl of warm water with a few teaspoons of baking soda and letting them soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. After you've cleaned your fruit, Cut four of your strawberries into slices. Then chop up around seven or eight strawberries. The sliced strawberries will be for our French toast and the chopped strawberries will be for our sauce. Next we're going to make our berry sauce. In a saucepan over medium low heat, add half a cup of chopped strawberries, half a cup of blueberries, and half a cup of raspberries. After that, add three tablespoons of water, two teaspoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of sugar, a dash of cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg. Once you've added all your ingredients, mix everything together. Once everything is mixed together, bring your mixture to a simmer. Continuously stir your mixture until it becomes thick. If your sauce isn't as thick as you'd like it to be, you can add a few tablespoons of a cornstarch slurry, which is basically one part cornstarch, two parts water. 
or two tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water mixed together. Once you're finished making your sauce, take it off the heat and set it to the side. Next, we're gonna make our cream cheese mixture. In a bowl, add four ounces of softened cream cheese, two thirds cup of heavy cream, and a half a cup of powdered sugar. Then mix all these ingredients together using an electric mixer. When you're finished, set your cream cheese mixture to the side. Next, we're going to make our egg mixture. In a bowl, melt two tablespoons of butter. Then add two eggs. Accidentally dropped a shell, but that's no problem. Just scoop that right out. Then whisk your eggs and butter together until smooth. After that, add two thirds cup of heavy cream. Then add two tablespoons of light brown sugar, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, a dash or one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, one to two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. and 1 4th teaspoon of vanilla extract. When you're finished, set your egg mixture to the side. Next, cut a few slices of brioche bread. When you're finished cutting your bread, lightly toast all of your slices. When you finish toasting your bread, we can assemble our French toast. Take two slices of brioche bread and spread your cream cheese mixture on the bread. Then, Add your berries and sliced strawberries. Make sure to add your cream cheese mixture on both slices of bread. When you're finished, sandwich the two slices of bread together. Then repeat this process with the rest of your French toast. Next, in a large pan over medium heat, melt some butter. Then, dip your French toast in your egg mixture for 15 seconds on each side. After that, place your French toast in the pan. Cook your French toast until golden brown on each side.
Once your French toast has finished cooking, take them out of the pan. Now that everything has been cooked and prepared, we can go ahead and plate it all up. And this is the finished result. I'm so proud of this French toast. This French toast is gorgeous and it's so colorful. The combination of berries tastes great together. Not to mention the fact that the whole thing together just looks beautiful. Plus it tasted amazing. It'll put you straight into a sleep coma. The sauce was a perfect touch to the French toast. It was the right amount of sweet and tangy. Everything together tasted great. I absolutely recommend this recipe. I would go as far as to say it was very delicious. Put em cha! Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing Tres Leches French Toast. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by cutting a few thick slices of brioche bread. When you finish slicing your bread, lightly toast it and then set it to the side. Next we're going to make some whipped cream. In a bowl, add 1 cup of heavy cream, 1 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and about 3 to 4 tablespoons of sugar. Proceed to beat the cream until stiff peaks form. When you have finished making your whipped cream, cover the bowl or place your whipped cream inside a container and then put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Next, in a bowl or a large measuring cup, mix together 1 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, 1 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, half a cup of heavy cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. When you're finished, set your milk mixture to the side. Next, in a bowl, crack two eggs. Then add one cup of your milk mixture, some cinnamon, and some nutmeg. When you finish adding all of your ingredients, mix everything together until well combined. Next, in a large pan over medium heat, add butter. Once the butter has melted, dip your bread in the egg mixture. Let your bread soak in the egg mixture for about 10 to 15 seconds on each side. When you have finished soaking your french toast, place it in the pan and cook it on each side until golden brown. When you have finished cooking your french toast, take it out of the pan and set it to the side. 
Repeat this process with the rest of your sliced bread. When you finish cooking your French toast, you can go ahead and plate it up. I added a layer of strawberries under each piece of French toast. Then I topped the French toast with dolce de leche. And after that, I added the homemade whipped cream and a sliced strawberry on top. And this is the finished result! This looks absolutely delectable. All that's left to do now is pour the remaining Tres Leches mixture on top. How much you add is really up to you, you can add a little or a lot. This French toast was so good! I have to say it's one of my favorite things I've made this month. After pouring the milk, I added a bit of cinnamon on top, which just made it even better. The milk didn't make the French toast soggy, and the strawberries tasted so good with everything. I know I say this a lot, but I really, really do recommend giving this one a try. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, crunchy French toast, so let's get started with the video. In a dish, pour a good amount of frosted flakes. Then crush the frosted flakes into smaller pieces. The reason why you want to crush up the cereal into smaller pieces is so that it coats the bread better. When you're done, set your frosted flakes to the side. Next, cut a few thick slices of brioche bread. When you finish slicing the brioche bread, lightly toast them. Once you have finished cutting the bread, lightly toast all of your slices. This will prevent the French toast from becoming soggy. In a bowl, melt 2 tablespoons of butter. Then add 2 eggs. Whisk the butter and eggs together until smooth. Then mix in 2 thirds cup of heavy cream. Next, add 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a bit of nutmeg, and some cinnamon. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set the egg mixture to the side. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add butter. While the butter is melting, we're going to prepare the French toast. Dip a slice of bread in the egg mixture, and then let it soak for about 10 seconds on each side. Then, take the slice of bread and coat each side in the frosted flakes. Oh, and make sure to let any excess mixture drip off the bread before coating it in the frosted flakes. Once you have finished coating the French toast, shake off the excess frosted flakes and then place it in the pan. Repeat this process with your other slices of bread.
Once you have placed your French toast in the pan, cook them on each side until they are crispy and golden brown. Once the French toast has finished cooking, take it out of the pan and plate it up. And this is the finished result! This French toast was so so good! The French toast was crunchy, sweet, and easy to make. By the way, if you don't want to use frosted flakes for your French toast, you can always use fruity pebbles or corn flakes. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin French toast with a cream cheese glaze. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the cream cheese glaze. In a bowl, add 4 ounces of softened cream cheese, a quarter cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your cream cheese glaze to the side. Now we're going to move on and make the French toast. Take a loaf of brioche bread and place it on a cutting board. Then cut it into thick slices. Once you've finished slicing the brioche bread, lightly toast them and then set them to the side. Next, we're going to make the egg mixture. In a bowl, add 2 tablespoons of melted butter and 2 eggs. Then whisk the butter and eggs together until well combined. Next, add 3 fourths cup of heavy cream and a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. Then add two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix everything together until well combined and then set your egg mixture to the side. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add butter. Once the butter is melted, place the sliced brioche bread in the egg mixture. Then let it soak for about 10 to 15 seconds on each side. Once you have finished soaking the brioche bread, place it in the pan and cook it on each side until golden brown. Once the french toast has finished cooking, take it out of the pan. Now all that's left to do is plate it up. Add some powdered sugar. The cream cheese glaze. Some whipped cream. 
and a sprinkle of cinnamon. And that's it! You are all finished making your pumpkin french toast. Fall is right around the corner and this is the perfect recipe to get into the spirit. It's super easy to make and delicious. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make ube stuffed french toast, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making ube syrup. In a saucepan, add one and a half cups of white sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and one cup of water. Mix everything together and then bring your mixture to a boil. Once it starts boiling, reduce it to a simmer and then let it simmer for 3-5 to five minutes. By the way, don't stir the syrup while it's simmering. After the 3-5 to five minutes, remove the syrup from the heat and then add 2-3 to three teaspoons of ube flavoring and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix everything together until well combined and then let the syrup cool for about 10 minutes. Once the syrup has cooled, store it in an airtight container and then place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Next, we're going to make the ube filling. In a large bowl, add 8 ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Then beat the cream cheese until smooth. When you're finished, scrape the sides of the bowl. Then add a half a cup of powdered sugar and beat until combined. Once the powdered sugar and cream cheese are mixed together and well combined, scrape the sides of the bowl again. Now gradually mix in 2 cups of heavy cream. We want to incorporate the heavy cream so we're going to add it a little at a time while mixing it into the cream cheese mixture. Do not add it all at once, just small amounts at a time. Once you've added all the heavy cream, continue to beat the mixture until medium peaks form. When you're finished, add 1-2 to two teaspoons of ube flavoring. Then mix it in until well combined. Once everything is mixed together, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and then place the ube filling in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Now we're going to make the french toast. In a bowl, add 3 eggs. Then add 3 tablespoons of melted butter. Mix the eggs and butter together until well combined. 
Next, mix in 3 fourths cup of heavy cream. Once the heavy cream is mixed in, add 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a bit of nutmeg, and 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. Once you've added all of your ingredients, mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your egg mixture to the side. Next, cut one loaf of brioche bread into thick slices. Your bread slices should be this thick. Once you have finished slicing the bread, set it to the side. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add butter. Once the butter is melted, place a slice of bread in the egg mixture. Soak the bread in the egg mixture for about 10 to 15 seconds on each side. Once the slice of bread has finished soaking in the egg mixture, place it in the pan and then cook it until it is golden brown on both sides. Once the french toast has finished cooking, take it out of the pan. Repeat this process with the other slices of bread. Once you've finished cooking the french toast, we can begin stuffing the french toast with the ube filling. First, prepare a piping bag. To do this, take a piping bag and cut the tip off. And then cut a tiny sliver off the corner. Then place the piping bag in a cup. Doing this will make it easier to put the ube filling into the piping bag. Next, add the ube filling into the piping bag. Once you've added the ube filling, take the piping bag out of the cup. Now you can begin stuffing the french toast. Take a slice of french toast and cut it down the middle, creating a pocket. Make sure not to cut too deep inside the french toast. Then using the piping bag, pipe the filling into the french toast until you reach the top. Next, pipe two swirly lines on top of the french toast. Make sure when you're piping, the corner you cut off the piping bag is facing up. That way when you're piping the filling on, the swirls look more neat. Repeat this process with all of your french toast. Once you've finished stuffing your french toast with the ube filling and adding swirls on top, add some fruit on top as well. I'm adding strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. I also added some mint leaves.
After adding the fruit, add some powdered sugar. And that's it, you are all finished making your ube stuffed French toast. Now just add the ube syrup you made before and enjoy. This ube stuffed French toast was absolutely delicious and it looks so pretty! The ube filling wasn't too sweet so it complemented the French toast perfectly and the ube syrup added more ube flavor. I was inspired to make this after I saw Keith Lee from TikTok try the ube stuffed French toast from the Pepper Club in Las Vegas. I wanted to try the ube stuffed French toast so badly so I decided to make it myself and it turned out awesome! By the way, this isn't the recipe that they use at the Pepper Club, this is just my version of ube stuffed french toast. I totally recommend giving this recipe a try, especially if you love ube like I do. It is so, so good. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I will be teaching you how to make these delicious TikTok french toast sticks. I saw a video of someone making french toast sticks on TikTok and I was inspired to make some of my own. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by cutting 4 thick slices of brioche bread. Now take your slices of brioche bread and place them into the toaster. Toast them lightly. I accidentally toasted my bread for too long, but it's okay because it's not that bad. Now cut your bread slices into three pieces. When you're finished, set your bread to the side. In a bowl, melt 2 tablespoons of butter. Then add 2 eggs. Whisk the butter and the eggs together. After that, add 2 thirds cup of heavy cream. Then add 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar and 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar. 1 fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. A few dashes of nutmeg. And some cinnamon. Whisk everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your mixture to the side. Next, we're going to make some cinnamon sugar. In another dish, add some sugar. It can be a plate or a bowl. Then add some cinnamon into the sugar. Mix the cinnamon into the sugar. When you're finished, set your cinnamon sugar to the side. In a large pan, melt some butter over medium heat. Then dip your breadstick into your mixture. Make sure to coat your breadstick really well and let it sit in the mixture for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then take it out of the mixture and place it into the pan. Cook your French toast sticks until they're golden brown on each side.
When your French toast sticks are finished cooking, immediately coat them in the cinnamon sugar. Now I'm just going to make some whipped cream real quick. So in a bowl, I added about a cup of heavy cream. Then add 1 4th cup or 1 8th cup of sugar. Now whip your heavy cream and sugar together with an electric mixer until it can form stiff peaks. When you're finished with your whipped cream, set it to the side. Now cut up some strawberries. Now just stack your French toast sticks on a plate, add your strawberries on top, some powdered sugar, and place your syrup and whipped cream on the side. After that you are all finished. And this is the finished product. These were absolutely delicious and easy to make. And they look amazing. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make these TikTok French toast roll-ups. I used to make these all the time when I was younger and then I saw people were making them again on TikTok, so I decided to make them again and now I will be showing you how to make them as well. We will be making the strawberry French toast roll-up and the apple French toast roll-up. So let's get started with the video. Start by peeling an apple. The type of apple I used was Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp is my favorite apple. I eat them like every day. Cut each side of the apple, making a square where the seeds are. Now you can begin dicing your apple slices into little cubes. When you're finished, place your apples in a small saucepan. Then add 1 4th teaspoon of cinnamon and 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. Cook everything together over low heat for about 3 to 4 minutes. When your apples are finished cooking, take them off the heat and set them to the side. Cut up about 6 strawberries. When you're finished, place your strawberries in a bowl. Add about 1 half teaspoon of lemon juice and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Mix everything together until well combined. Add 4 ounces of softened cream cheese in a bowl. 
Then add one teaspoon of lemon juice, one fourth cup of sugar. I know it looks like I put two tablespoons, but I added more sugar as I went along. And one fourth teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. Mix everything together until well combined. By the way, if you're having trouble mixing it with a spoon, use a whisk. It's way easier. When you're finished, set your cream cheese mixture to the side. In a large bowl, add one tablespoon of butter. Melt that butter in the microwave. Add one egg. Whisk the egg and the butter together until well combined. Then add one third cup of heavy cream. One tablespoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract, a dash of nutmeg, and a few shakes of cinnamon. Whisk everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set that to the side. Now take a slice of white bread and cut the crust off. I used about 8 slices of bread. Now take a slice of bread and roll it flat with a rolling pin. Add about one to two spoonfuls of your cream cheese mixture. Make sure not to add too much, you don't wanna overfill it. Now add your fillings that we made before. This is the apple filling. Now just roll your French toast up. Repeat this process until you run out of your slices of bread. Alright, so now that you're finished with that, set your French Toast Roll-Ups to the side. Now we're going to make our cinnamon sugar. This is what we're going to coat our French Toast in. I don't really have measurements for this, but add a good amount of sugar into a dish or on a plate. Then add a few dashes of cinnamon. Mix the cinnamon and sugar together until well combined. In a medium sized pan, melt some butter over medium heat. Now dip your French toast roll up into your egg mixture that you made before. And then place it onto the pan.
Cook each side of your French toast roll up until the whole thing is golden brown. Once your French toast roll up is finished cooking, take it off of the pan and place it into your cinnamon sugar. Roll it around in the cinnamon sugar until it is completely coated and you are all finished. Repeat this process until you've cooked all of your French toast roll ups. Alright, and this is the finished product. These French toast roll-ups taste so good, and they smell delicious. Mom said the apple ones tasted like apple pie, and I'd have to agree with her. I can't really choose a favorite, like I used to really love strawberry, but then I made the apple ones, and I'm like, that is equally as good, so they're both pretty awesome. Like I said before, I used to make these all the time when I was younger. It was so nostalgic making these again, I swear. I would make these in the morning before I had to go to school and I would listen to my audiobook. I used to um, listen to a lot of audiobooks on YouTube and I would listen to His Dark Materials. My favorite book from the His Dark Materials series was Subtle Knife. And I used to listen to it while I made my French toast roll-ups and while I ate my French toast roll-ups and, and the mornings were so quiet and I loved it. Gosh, it was awesome! Okay, I'm done rambling. Anyway, these were super delicious and fun to make. It's pretty easy, and I totally recommend making it. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this strawberry cheesecake french toast. It's sweet, simple, and delicious. So let's get started with the video. Start by cutting slices of brioche bread. I then realized that my slices were way too thick, so I decided to cut them in half so they were the perfect size. I took my slices of bread and then I popped them into the toaster. Alright, after we toasted our bread, we could set those to the side. The reason we toasted the bread was so that the bread could dry out, and so when we put it inside the custard, it won't become soggy once we start cooking it. After you've washed and dried your strawberries, we're going to start slicing them. Once you've finished, set the strawberries to the side. Place about three to four ounces of cream cheese into a bowl. Place it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds just so you can soften it up. Add one half teaspoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of sugar, and one fourth teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Now just mix this all together until everything is well combined. I ended up adding one more tablespoon of sugar just because I like it really sweet, but if you don't, you can always just leave it out. Alright, now set that to the side. Now we're going to begin making the custard for the french toast. 
All right, so in a bowl, add two tablespoons of butter. Melt that butter in the microwave. 30 seconds should be enough. Crack two eggs in and then whisk until well combined. After that, add 2 thirds cup of heavy cream. Then add 2 tablespoons of white sugar, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Nutmeg is really overwhelming, so you only want to add a little bit. Then add about 1 fourth to 1 half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just a splash, just a bit. I would have used my vanilla bean paste, but I had run out, so. Alright, now set that to the side. Now it's time to prepare your French toast. Lay down your two slices of toasted bread. Then spread the cream cheese onto the bread, both slices. After that, lay down your slices of strawberries. Then sandwich both slices together. When you're finished doing that with all your French toast, set it to the side. Add butter in a pan at medium heat. Add your French toast into the custard for 10 seconds on each side. Then place your French toast into the pan. Cook the French toast until it's golden brown on each side. Remove the French toast from the pan and then you're all finished. Go ahead and add your favorite toppings. I added some strawberry syrup, whipped cream, and powdered sugar. And that's it! You are all finished with your strawberry cheesecake French toast. I didn't know how to plate it at first, but then I figured something out and it came out really cute, so I'm also proud of that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to teach you how to make a strawberry rose, a strawberry fan, and a strawberry flower, like any of those strawberry decorations. And I'll be happy to make a video on it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!